Hello my friends, my name is Mohammad Naveed and in this lecture I am going to teach you in spite of or despite. So what is in spite of or despite we will learn in this lecture. First we will see the usage of in spite of or despite. So the usage is here for unexpected result. For unexpected result. Now let them see the structure. So the structure is here. Now we see the examples. So the first example is he attends the class. He attends the class in spite of illness. He attends the class in spite of illness. Definitely here, uh, definitely we are showing that unexpected result. What we are showing? We are showing unexpected result. For example, your friend, for example, or my friend uh, uh, named Ali, for example. Okay. So the, uh, to, uh, for, uh, for example, today he is ill. Today he is ill. So definitely what we are expecting that today he will not come to school. Today he will not come to school. But the, uh, what we saw that he today he came to school. They getting me. So definitely this is unexpected result. Na? To show unexpected result, what we will use, we will use spite of or despite. It's totally up to you whether you use spite of or despite. Then we have the second example. We went to school despite of rain. We went to school despite of rain. So definitely we are here. We are showing what we are. We are showing unexpected result because we, despite of rain, you know, despite of rain, we went to school. Then we have the last example. He went to Dubai. He went to Dubai in spite of warning. He went to Dubai in spite of warning. Definitely here, this is also an expert result because when we when someone is giving us warning, so definitely we will not go there. He went there. Definitely this is an expert result. Not to show an expert result, what we will use? We will use either in spite of or despite. Now let us see the structure of in spite of or despite. So the structure is here. First we have subject. First we have subject. Subject, what is mean a subject? Subject me doer. It can be me, it can be you, it can be Navid, it can be navidplace.com, it can be my friend, it can be anyone. Getting me? So subject mean doer means we, we tell you who is doing here. Getting me? Then we have definitely we will use either in spite of or despite of or you can say despite. Then we have now, we have definitely two structures, definitely subject, in spite of, despite of or noun. Or we have we have second structure, in spite of subject, in spite of, despite of or Noun, gerund noun, getting me. So uh, uh, either we, uh, it's totally up to us that either we use this noun or gerund noun. What does it mean a gerund noun? Actually, it is a fourth form of verb, but it acts like a noun. For example, if I say that I like fishing, I like fishing. So definitely, this is uh, you can say uh, fourth form of verb, but it is noun. It is noun. It's called gerund noun. So here we have the example of Jared now. Definitely we have example that he went to Dubai in spite of warning. So the warning definitely is definitely is Jared now. First example is he attends the class in spite of illness. Definitely in spite of definitely we have in spite of despite of definitely illness. This is now. Then we have uh, we went to school in despite of rain. Definitely we have rain. Definitely is now. Getting me. So in one example, in two examples we use uh, you know, normal now. In the last example we use Jared now. Getting me. So what is in spite of or despite definitely uh, uh, we learn in this lecture and what is in spite of, despite of definitely we use it to show unexpected result. This is a structure examples of in spite of or despite. I hope you have understood for more videos lecture and exercises come to my website www.navidplace.com Allah Fiyamayallah and I will meet you in the next lecture. Till then Allah Hafiz.